and we're back to this. Okay, so I did some leveling up and I did some switching around of team members. I replaced the Grovile because, well, Dylan already has one and I don't really want to overlap that much. So I now got uh, Mei Ling the Makuhita, which probably will be replaced at some point. But first I need to get one more level on Senko because apparently Puchiana evolves at level 18. And I want to see the evolution with you people on stream, so I just need to do one fight and see what it evolves into. Because I'm curious how, how Martiana looks. So how is everyone doing today? Oh look, it's a uh, Dratini again. I was tempted to get one, but once again, Dylan also has one, so I don't really want to overlap with the same Pokemon he has. Just to keep it a bit more unpredictable, if you will. Now, if I find a Febrava, I might get that one now. Doing the same as usual, just glad I got the stream. <laughs> well, that's nice to hear. So, what will you look like when you evolve? Let's find out. The person I live with is in a bad mood. Um, I don't know how to deal with that. I don't know. I was try punching him or something. I don't know. This is probably not going to help. Oh dear. Oh my. I like this. <laughs> She's adorable. She's great. Oh my god. She looks great! Jesus! Sadly, just a Mightyena, because Mightyena isn't that strong, but I really like this. Damn. That's... that's really nice. But yeah, today we'll just be going to, um... Slateport and see how far we get. I don't know, we might get to Marville, but I'm not sure if I will be going through the gym yet. We'll see. Eh, uh, slight pot, here we go. A taser might work. A red belt and a great vest might be good with that cause. She looks really great, that's, that's all I'll say. Okay, so there's a bunch of hidden items on the beach here. I'm not sure if I can find any of them or all of them because I don't remember their locations. Oh, Dragon Scale. Okay. I also gave some more uh, HP ups to uh, Milotic. <laughs> now I know who I'm adding to my team if I play this. I also gave some more HP ups to uh, Milotic because, well, that's basically the one I should be giving it anyway, so. Slightly bad. <laughs> I really like that uh, that marking on her face too. I don't know. And she also has a red collar. Oh dear. That sadly bite is a uh, special move and not physical, so that's also not going to do much. Ghastly. Oh, we haven't seen Ghastly before, have we? Oh my god, that Ghastly is adorable. She's cute. Oh my god. He's just floating in the and the hair is all wispy. Yeah, I like Got Lolly, uh, Gosling. She's kind of cute. I mean, they're all cute, really. <laughs> you can't because ghosts. I mean, you can try. Okay, so let's see if we can find more hidden items here. I know there is a bunch, though. I don't have an item fighter, do I? No, I don't think so yet. There's also some stuff hidden under umbrellas, I remember. Yo, trainers, where do you hop to drop? Uh, right. You're just advertising this, the uh, shack here. I'll still pet it, I'll find a way. <laughs> See, that's some dedication. Also, because I can, I will point out some grievances I had with the uh, with the remake on the, 3D, on, on the 3DS. Like, here you can just go from the route to the city but in the remakes that you had to the game had to load different zones and well it, it's a bit of a bad, bad beef but I don't really like that, that 
makes the world feel more instant and less connected. And Barry. Like, there is nothing on this world map that specifically needs to load in. You can just move in one go. All the way from Little Root to, I'm pretty sure, Evergrande without the game needing to load in anything. But in the remake, and well, basic, basically every game since Generation 5, I think. Maybe even some in Generation 4, but ever since then, there's always routes and cities that are separated by loading s uh, small loading screens. Which just kind of annoys me, basically. The lumber is pretty cute. And we have seen unknown before, but this is a different letter, but I can't see which one it is. I think it is a Q. But yeah, that's just one of the bad beefs I have with the newer games, really. The worlds aren't really connected anymore, and they're all just F-loading screens in between. Well, up to Generation 3, it was just fine. Oh, look at that thing. Oh, am I getting messages again now I'm online? Oh no, it's actually someone on a uh, message on YouTube. That's interesting. But yeah, that's just a pet beef I've had with the later generations of Pokemon. It might sound stupid, but uh... Let it be stupid, I don't care. I'm still not sure if the uh, Shelgon is wearing glasses or not. Her eyes look kinda glassy. Gonna do my chores, no one... No one is at home. Oh wait, you're gonna do the chores and have friends to behave in chat. Well, I mean, I can still be I can still ban people if you're not behaving, so... Oh, I forgot I had fake out. Crap. Uh, let's just take down a Tangela, I guess. Oh yeah, definitely take down a Tangela. No, I can't, I'm not going to ban you. As much as you want it, it's not going to happen. They do look like glasses, yeah. Don't, don't pet me. Don't pet the bird. Okay, let's tangle her. If you want... No, I of course I won't ban you, because you just want too much. There's no fun in that, you know? It's good, it's good for me that the mom is in my best behavior. I haven't pet you yet since I came here. Yet. Yet being the keyword. Me? I'm here every day. Oh. Okay. I got. I now got the phone number of a little kid at the beach. Totally not questionable at all. Okay, so let's see what else. I can see someone under the umbrella there. Don't like me. I'm just looking for items. I don't think there's anything more on this side. Maybe I need. Oh, uh, you get soft sand, don't you? Yep, you do. Want to see me not pet you for the rest of the evening? I will do it. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. Sandcastle is going to take a long time to make, and she just gives away the sand for nothing. Okay. I really wish I had item finder at this point, but. I don't get, I get item finder not that far from here, I believe, after beating Brandon again. Or what's his name? But which umbrella was that item hidden under? Not this one, that's for sure. No, let's see. Did you have something for me, or did you just say that some- okay. You're just hinting at the fact that we can uh, pick up items here. Alright, let's go back to beating up people. I love this area because it would buy the soda from them inside the shack. The soda does recover a decent amount of HP, so it's not even bad. I will go in there in a moment, and you will get some uh, for free. Oh, this is also a double battle. That's maybe the one gripe I had with Pokemon Emerald, is that they forced double battles on you like this way much more than uh, the original game. Also, I need to fix something on stream because this just annoys me for seeing. Let's hold on for a moment. There we go. I don't like seeing, like, the porter just sticking out. 
Okay, so it's a normal Lady Bar and it's a Zoom Arrow. I miss Stinky 1 and Stinky 2. Well, Stinky 2 is streaming tonight. Uh, let's just use Fake Out, yeah. Fake Out is good. Fight is a bit overkill, but they will definitely flinch now. I'll, I'll just be streaming until Dylan goes online, which is going to be in like two hours from now or something like that, so... I would have played Dead Space otherwise, but I don't really like putting in middle of deaths. Well, this is easier to take breaks in, if that makes any sense. It doesn't make any sense, does it? Wait a minute, you can't really hurt that Ladiba at this point. You use Steel Wing and you use uh, Arm Trust. I have 700 Poker for Super Potion that restores 50 when you can buy Soda for 300 that restores 60. Yep, pretty much. Also, I think she hurt herself, but I missed it. I can assume I would better give a lot of experience, I would ask. Sadly, the experience is uh, split in two, but... Yeah, it's little things like that that you can save up money in the game. I mean, in the long run, money doesn't really matter in Pokemon games, but... yeah. Also, I just like the aesthetic more of using Soda Pop to heal your Pokemon instead of mechanical potion things. <laughs> this game also makes you do some cuteness. So, at what level does uh, Makahita evolve anyway? I literally have no idea. I don't think I have used Makahita other than like the first or second time I played this game. And that's been like... years ago. You, however, are going to evolve at level 20, so let's put you in front and beat up the trainers in the soda- Oh, I still have you left. I was going to say let's beat up the trainers in the soda house, but... I guess we have to beat up you first. Parasect. Oh, hey, it's you again. I really like that Parasect. It's clever with the hat. Oh, well, that's four. It's annoying. But yeah, I find the fact that they used, um, well, the, the way how Parasect looks with that big mushroom and they made that hat out of it. It's really nice and interesting. Parasect looks cute. I like glasses. Yeah, I can see. Level 24 is when we're going to see the fault. Okay, that's good. Guess we can keep an eye out on that. Like I said earlier, that's probably one of the earlier, um, the earlier suspects to cut from the team if I find something else I want. I mean, I would do my, I would do uh, my Deanna away from the team, but she looks, she looks really good. I just feel kind of bad if I were to get rid of her right now. I guess sooner or later we have to get rid of her. I do kind of want a Sharpedo, if that's... I don't have a... No, I do have a water type. I don't even need Sharpedo. Uh, I do really like Sharpedo, but I rarely use it too. But yeah, wait to my logic. I don't think I shall be getting one of those either. Sharpedo was the, uh, the water type I used in my first playthrough. I really liked it. It did pretty good in the... Uh, Hey, yeah, I should have. Oh, well, at least you get me something. I think that was some multiplayer games, wasn't it? Yeah. Included with friends. Poison effect on overworld, it was a thing, a glitch effect. Well, even more so in the, uh, Even more so in the, uh, The first generation games, it glitched even so badly there. And I'm pretty sure that also in the remix, the uh, the market area was also its only area. Now I think about it, Energy Guru. Oh wait, what do you sell? Oh, you sell these. Okay, well I don't really need these. Your realms, you have to go for a little harder. You give you give a ribbon. What do you have to sell? Oh, you sell dolls. Well, I don't really need a doll, do I? I 
thought I could get a free item here, but I guess not. Only that stupid power ju powder jar. I don't really need that. Okay. There's like three trainers here to beat up, so let's get to it. Pouring battles on good effort. So there was a battle tent in uh Skitty. But the remakes were good, but the, like well like the loading the the, the 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 big loading areas is like one of the, the little gripes I have with the games in general after generation four. And then again I'm also thinking that generation four had the same issue. Because they just kind of I don't know, for me it somehow ruins the openness of the world. I don't know, it makes no sense probably, but... The only issue I had with the remakes is that it gave you Latios and Latias so damn early in the game. If anything, it should have been a post-game thing. Just getting, just getting Latios and Latias for nothing is just kinda... Mm, instead of trying to catch it on the roaming. Also, that's the first time we've seen Lickitung, haven't we? Taking a note from uh, Greninja there, using the tongue as a scarf. I mean, I had fun with the remakes, but I haven't really done everything in it. And like I said last time, I've only played Emerald like two times in the past. I don't know. Oh my god, you have a Gardevoir at this level? Oh dear. Oh, oh dear. How is that going to look? Oh. Oh my. Oh my. I think that says enough. Oh, why do you have to use double team? That's going to be annoying. And now we miss. Uh, now you're going to hit me pretty damn hard. Yep. That's even worse. Let's counter the arrow arrow with arrow arrow of my own. The dress is really pretty though. Also, I noticed the HP my, uh, my Lodic has. I don't have a lot of HP running really fast. <laughs> nice. We lost, but I won't cry. Why? Why would this little? Why would this little boy cry? He has a fucking Gardevoir that looks like that. Shut up, kid. I don't have any. I don't have any mercy for you. You're doing absolutely fine in the world. If you have that, like, as, as your pet. Jeez. I kind of would love that. Well, there she is. So. Look at Beautifly again. I do really like this Beautifly, it's, it's really pretty. And I guess I just like the fact that they went for a Kimono. Because I really like those. I wanted God to let me sleep on oh, Jesus. Well, I can't blame you for that. I can't blame you for that at all. Okay, so one more thing, and then Lillian should have fall. Team Butterfree or Team Beautifly? You mean in general or in this game? I don't think I've seen Butterfree in this game yet, have I? Oh, what does Oxy want me? What, what does Oxy want to tell me? And I don't know. The bird was the word. Someone please pep curve. In this game, what do you like more? I don't think I've seen Butterfree just yet, so I can't really decide on that. Okay, you you just fight a thing. I don't know if you can give me a picture of uh, of how the Butterfree looks. I can decide, but. Or have we seen better free? I don't think we have. I 
I don't know, I'm going to withhold my judgment for that until I see it. In general though, I don't know. I like both. Beautifly is a bit more useful than Butterfree, or at least it was back in Generation 3 when it first was released. Listen to Bab to Oxy. Hmm. Oh, I just got Chichi. Okay, you can do that. And now we have Pelia. Hello, that easy. Correct answer was Dustox. <laughs> have you seen? No, we haven't seen Dustox either. Give me the free soda. I wouldn't be surprised if Dustox were to look better. Hello, hello, that simple. Okay, so um, we have to get in here. I think I had to talk down. So where are some items that I could get in this city? I don't remember. Let's talk to people. Check Discord for Butterfree. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Mm. The Butterfree does look good, but... I think I'm more biased towards the um, Beautifly because of the kimono. So I think I'm with Beautifly for that. I just like the Wii by Amy now. Pokemon Fan Club. What do you have? Give me free stuff. Come on. I don't want to learn swagger. It's plain to see that you lavish your love. Oh, yeah, Kel, yeah. Can I ask you a favor? I'm a TV reporter. Would you like to really answer a few questions for me? Okay. When you first met Kelia, why did you feel... Is it what cute thing? Oh. I could do this. That would be, uh, <laughs> questionable. Let's just go with cute. What do Pokemon mean to you? Eh. 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 I don't know. Oh, that's actually a good one. Let's go for this. Oh, wait, it didn't. Oh, it didn't slack. One last check Discord for Discogs. Okay, hold on, let me, let me finish this stupid interview thing. Oh, you don't even give me anything for this. Hmm. I just want free stuff, you know, come on. That's the only reason I'm talking to you people. The Pokemon really adores you. No, still fell. Well, that's not really unwanted. Okay, let's see what the dust dogs looks like. Oh, that's kind of cute. That is kind of cute. I think Beautifly is still better, though. Just because I like the black more. Okay, so I don't... Oh, I haven't talked to you yet. Pokemon... Oh, right, here, here I can get those weird-ass scarves. I've... Never knew before. This talks is kind of creepy to me. I do like Venomat, uh, Venomoth, but it's one of those Pokemon you rarely use, really. Also, you don't really have any point to use them because you get it way too late in the game and it's just a bug type anyway. Hello, Doc. This one did get discernment of somewhere. Mm, let's put you in front and let's go to the Pokemon Center because you will evolve at level 22. And you will need a power boost. Also, you learn level 
A level 21 you love wing attack, so you can really use those things. I really love your nibble, but you can use the power boost from evolving and from wing attack. That reminds me of Generation 4, where you have Mothim. Does anyone remember that Pokemon existing? It just kind of exists, you know, really. This, this I always find annoying. I mean, the museum is overrun with Team Aqua or Team Magma Grunts, depending on which version you play, but you still have to pay to get in. And you give me the uh, HM, no, Technical Machine Teeth, I believe. Pretty sure. They all paid. I mean, yes, they paid, but still. Like, it's weird. <laughs> oh yes, our museum is overrun by a terrorist organization. But you have to pay us to come in and save us, you know. Okay, here we go. I do like Team Aqua's uh, encounter music. We're Team Aqua, our boss wants a spot. Okay, so what are we dealing with here? Suffolk picking one. Uh, oh, de oh dear. You should ask someone else for that. They're, pay they're paying customers. Yeah, true. I suppose they are paying customers, but still. Bite the fish. Oh, horrible. Now I can switch out, can I? This is going to be annoying to deal with. At least make it flinch. Good. Good girl. All the grunts and people are equal. I don't know, sometimes you think that the grunts are even less worth than just normal people. The way that they get treated in games. Oh, almost. Let's just do that to conserve some uh, PP. There we go, level 20. Two more levels. Also, Team Aqua is classified as jugglers. That's kind of funny. Well, I mean, I guess they're a bunch of clowns, so it makes sense that they are jugglers, but hey. Oh, Charmeleon. So she still has a tail, which is on fire. Like the rule, never having one or two more members be the kid at once. Yeah. I do believe they did that in the uh, in the remake, though. That somewhere in the Team Aqua hideout, you would have to fight five of them at the same time, which was actually a cool touch. Which makes sense for once, you know. Instead of all waiting their own turn. They should have done it more, but uh, Swarm Battles don't exist anymore, I believe. That's a thing exclusive to Generation 6 too now I think about it, right? Or did it exist in Generation 7? Oh no. Oh no. I have the perfect thing for this, but still, oh no. Oh, she's egg. Why would you use soft boiled at full HP? You fully know what's going to happen now, don't you? And I'm getting messages again. Oh, that's a lot of HP, uh, experience. Jeez. Yes, you lost you. You don't remember it. Hmm. Pretty sure that happened so. No. And there was Maxi. Um, Archie. Not Maxi. It's the wrong team. You're not a member of Team Magma? No, I'm not. Still too young to understand a noble in faking. I like Maxi, Maxi much more than Archie. Which version though? The Generation 3 version or the Generation 6 ones? I don't know who I like more to be honest. 
Oh, you heal me up. Oh, I didn't. I didn't know that was a thing. I don't remember this game being so hands-free of a. No, not hands-free. Generous with healing. Died fire. Well, that's fair. Hello there again, Scott. Maybe, just maybe, this trainer. Oh, you want my phone number now for some reason? Hmm. Hand holding, as Christian says. Yeah. I don't remember being fully healed here. Alright, next route. What can we find in, find in the grass? What is that? Oh, it's Blanco! Oh, I can see that. It's kind of cute. What else can we find? So there's a lot of trainers up out of there. Also the trick house, which I'm going to do. The trick house didn't exist in the remakes, did it? I don't think it did. I think it was there, but I think it was just close. Now I think about it. Which is kind of sad. I enjoyed it, place. See it up again. I want to see new things, not old things. Fortress is cool. Mm. It reminds me, I've, I've told this story before, but... No, it's Lunadome. But I've told this story before, when I was a kid, so, uh, someone on school had a card, a Japanese card of Fortress. And everyone was like, nah, that's, that's not real, that thing is fake, that Pokemon doesn't exist and all that stuff. Oh, it's a Shroomish. Now, Shroomish evolves into Breloom, which is a grass fighting type, which would be a... Isn't the grass on the cycling road the same route? Yes, it is. But as I was saying, uh, Shroomish is a fighting grass type, which is effectively better than just a fighting type, so I'm going to see if I can catch this. But yeah, everyone thought that the, um... Oh, sure. Everyone thought that the uh, Fortress card was fake. Until like half a year later when Generation 2 was announced here. Which was really weird. Okay, so what are we calling Mushroom Girl? Any suggestions? When this Marimon gets scared, which happens quite often, Dox explores and spread around the area. Artist unknown, G Hardcore. <laughs> Don't stall shrooms. Um, nickname for a shroomish stress balloon. In spite of its four times weakness against flying, yeah. Then again, Broloom does have a b pretty bad special attack, it uh, doesn't really matter. Most of the time I will be using it super effective anyway. Any more name suggestions or is that all we have? <laughs> Hello there Space Elfin. I mean I can just call her Toad I guess. Oh, I can just call her Toadad. Mushy. It's kind of cute, but I would do it like this then. I would do it like this then instead of with an eye. Okay, so we're going to evolve uh, Makuhida at some point. Maybe today or later. Oh no, it's Voltorb. And then we're going to swap it out for the uh, for the shroomish, simply because of the type of adventure to look at. Why can't I escape? You're seven levels higher. Jeez. Come on. You're a Zubat. You're you're the one Pokemon that we are not supposed to be able to run away from, and you can run away yourself. It's pathetic. Like a such, you really need that evolution in two levels. Yep. 
barrel I still still because fall top should be faster I mean I suppose fall is pretty fast Voltorb is pretty fast. Now I know there's a bunch of double battles ahead of me. Let's just lead with uh, Zubat and Makahita. If I don't get to the gym, I probably have to level up Pokemon anyway, so there's that. You weren't a fighter. Oh, hello, what are you doing here? Where might Brendan be? I don't know, I don't care. Oh, you also want my phone number. God damn it. It's <laughs> just Alright, double battle. Delightful Pokemon. And cute Pokemon help each other out. Oh, they're definitely cute. You don't care because I. God damn it. Another Cloyster, jeez. Sure are a lot of Cloyster here. Uh, let's just fake out on an Octal because flying moves. Is flinched and maybe the yeah, the closer is too. Nice. You just keep attacking the Noctile because that worked out, I guess. But wow, you do that. Oh, you're going to be like that. Hmm. Shouldn't have too much impact. Makita has a lot of attack. Well, I mean, it was enough. Orenberry. I was going to say, don't have. Why does everyone have an Orenberry here? Are you just being rude? Now you're just being scum. <laughs> double battle, double cuties. Because Orenberries are good, protect isn't good though. Protect is just annoying. I never gotten why Protect exists and Detect also exists. They're basically the same. Just to be double annoying, I guess. Oh, it's Snow Red. Aww. Sadly, we can't get Frostlass in this generation. Of course, I really would want to see how Frostlass looks in, uh, in this. And there's a wingle. Because of imprison. True. Imprison so shouldn't exist either. I really like the wingle though, she's cute. Stumbling over and missing her mill everywhere. Uh I just bite you. Well, we're gonna find out how Breloom looks in due time. We just need to get the Makita to evolve first. Which is going to take a long while. If it is indeed 24. I mean, I just want to see how it evolves. I'm not going to use it anymore afterwards, but... I just want to know how cute she looks, really. But we will find out how Breloom looks uh, probably next time. I don't think I will get her. Unless Makita actually evolves at 22 instead of 24, but hey. I wonder if that Wingle is based off Pelops from Mystery Dungeon because they carry mail. Hmm. I mean, I guess they went with the ID from Pelopper being used as a post carrier. That they extended it to Wingle as well. Um, let's get rid of Astonish because, well. Let's just get rid of Leech Life, that's actually worse than Astonish. I 
One more level till evolution. Oh dear, this one do. Have you no compassion or pity? Well, I mean, they're cute, so I'm kind of sad. Dr. Marshall. Maybe I didn't want to fight. Let's beat up this route first before I go into the trick house. And you are not going to have grass type Pokemons, are you? Rich po oh, oh dear. That's an interesting spear you're holding there. But this should take you down, I hope. It does. Good. <laughs> Pokey. Yeah, it's just a Pokey stick. Oh no, it's over Porian. Oh. I don't want to deal with that. Uh, let's just send you out for experience. Vaporeon is one of my more liked evolutions, so I really wonder. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Insert Vaporeon copy pasta here. No, please don't. And then again, if Vaporeon looks like this, sure, I guess. That barely does any damage. Not necessarily the direction I imagined they would go with Vaporeon, to be honest. I was expecting more something mermaid-ish. Also, she seems to be holding a book there. But I'm not sure, I think my favorite is Clation, closely followed by Umbreon and then Vaporeon. The rest just kinda exists for me. Uh, it's another double battle. Um, do I have something to heal Nibble with? Of course I do, I have those, uh, soda pop. And I should give you the suit bell now I think about it, because, well, it increases friendship gain, so I can get a, uh, crowbat sooner. Sadly, Glacian isn't that amazing. I do like it, though. I won't fight you, uh, Vaporeon is good taste. Now if you would have said Flareon, we would have that trouble here. I should have had, I should have held Leech Life because it's just four times effective, but hey. Oh well. I just never really liked f uh, Flareon and Georgian, I don't know. They just felt meh to me. Haven't you said that before, Space? <laughs> um, Armtrust. If Execute is making uproar, it's not going to give me much trouble. Sand attack. Make me like that. And it remembers, um, this reminds me of what Dylan said a few days ago. He got asked if Phalanx would be six girls or just one girl. And I imagine it being a bit of this whirlwind. I do. And I imagine it being a bit of the same like Execute le looks here. Flareon is most bad of all. Flareon is the floofiest, that's that's one thing. That is one thing, yeah. Flareon is floofiest. But I don't know, its move will always was a big letdown. Maybe that is why I like it the least. Flareon is false prophet, no oh dear. Does thou even praise Helix? Senior and Junior. Oh, hello. I had no chance to dodge that one. My Pokemon is delightfully adorable. Well, I mean, seeing them, seeing the Maltrio running, definitely going to be true. Ooh. It's a punky Gligar. He's not gonna be see with Josie the Gatekeeper. <laughs> I forgot about a drowsy existing. The drowsy was also a thing, yeah. Okay, this is going to take a while because Tiger is decently tanky, yeah. And you also have Ornberry because why not? Why would we make this easy if we can make it hard? Speaking of hard. I think you have to catch Kliger now. Hmm... Gligar 
can't evolve here, so it's not really going to be that great, though. I mean, I don't think Gligar has his immunity to electric moves. How about Kangaskhan in this game? Mm. Maybe the Kangaskhan would have something like a pouch or a backpack with a doll in it. Or maybe just a mother with a, with a small child or something. I don't know. Maybe we'll find out. I can say because it's randomized, so we don't know. I'm pretty sure I got a file though for randomization, but I'm not sure what it says. Oh, why do all you people want my phone number? Oh, my fishing line is all stalled up. I'm gonna get frustrated. I mean. So I remember in the post game finding uh, Kyogre on this road in the cave just uh, side left up here. That's why not? It's level 5, why not? Why is it level 5? Also she looks like Miku. She really looks like Miku. Oh hey, that's better free. I mean, Butterfree is cute, definitely. Then she's dead. Level 22. You are going to evolve after this, but. Well, holy shit, guys. Uh -huh. And I didn't really pay attention to what you are sending out, so. Have I screwed myself over here? That was it now. Look at that. Uh, you have high special defense though. Now I remember why he goes from level 5 to level 10 to level 15. I think he just has magic orb in the original game. Yeah, your disable doesn't do anything. Okay, it doesn't really matter much if I do physical attacks or special ones. There we go. There goes it now. One HP, so little. I need more now, now. So let's see how Golbat looks then. Let's see what we're in for. She's not shy anymore. I, w I worry about the back sprite though, for reasons. For some obvious reasons. Um, you can go in front here. She goes to see from here. Yeah, I know. But yeah, I remember finding uh, Kyogre in here. Because the cave appears at random. And this was the route that was being terrorized by Kyogre, so <laughs> we'd find Kyogre in here, which was interesting. Or was it Groundon? I don't... I think it was Groundon, I don't know anymore. Magic Skirt Trope is in effect here. Oh. Well, that's probably good. I'm about to get demonetized now. Let's pick the berries first. Making the designs in Animal Crossing can take quite a bit. I can imagine because you have to make it pixel per pixel. Also, you have to be really good at pixel art, I think. People can definitely make some good things with it, I've seen, but I can't imagine making something myself that even looks half as good. Ooh, leftovers. That is going to go on um, my Lolic, because, well, that's what my Lolic does. Okay, let's see what that item is up there. I'm happy with my first one, well, congratulations on doing that. Uh, let's put you two in front because you two are lowest at this moment in time. 
How do you get into space this small? That's like, it's kind of mental level, isn't it? How can you, uh, get the, um, custom uh, patterns that people make, though? Because I've seen... Oh, there, that Electroburst. It's Electroburst, not Electroburst. Jesus, my name. Learn it already. But how can you use those uh, custom designs people make? Because I see codes being put there and stuff, but... Isn't it like only the front or something? Oh, oh. AI is dumb. I think I should switch you out before you get punched again and die. And we don't want you to die. Send out the Makuhida for experience. But I don't know if I'll be making a custom thingy there. It seems very time intensive. And I'm not sure if I'm good enough to make up something. Should have sent out Nibble, I suppose. I suppose. You can put them on the ground for a painting and have a to wear it. I've only seen people wear custom clothes like that, to be honest. The kid can walk. What do you mean, one man show? You're with, with someone else here. Star piece, I can sell that for money. Okay, I'm going back to the Pokemon Center to heal up before I go into the Trick House. I, I'm going to send out Nibble against the wild Pokemon because I, I'm really curious about that back sprite. For certain reasons. So let's see. Do we have a magical skirt issue going on here or do we have full face panties? No, no, he just doesn't see it. Fair enough. I don't have to worry about that then. <laughs> it's being lewd. Well, sorry. We're sorry. Insert that down, uh, that one clip. I'm just curious, you know. It, it could potentially be very bad to upload it, you know. Put you as a soup bell on now so we can expect Crobat. Maybe at level 30 is it at the soonest? Maybe even earlier. But the first focus should be getting Makita to 24 and then um, getting the Shroomish out. Time for the trick house. Hello there, person. How did you know I concealed myself between the desk? Behold, for I am the greatest living mystery of a man in all of Helen. They call me the Trick Master. I don't know, I always enjoyed the Trick House for some reason. It's nothing that challenging or great. It's mostly just an exercise in uh, hidden machines, but I just like it. I've got Necrobat at level 28 in my Pokemon Diamond Nuzlocke. Mm, that's impressive. I remember trying. I remember in uh, Fire. No, in Leaf Green. I was playing. You're being watched. I believe she's already aware of that. <laughs> True. Oh. Oh, dear. That's um, uh, a tentacruel. And how do I deal? Oh, I can deal with this with it. I can confuse you. But yeah, I had a uh, gold bat and a leaf green, and I was doing the uh, the self company. And at some point, I was I think it was like level 32 or something. After a battle, my gold bat wanted to evolve, but it couldn't evolve. It would, st it would just stop evolving on its own, and the message would be saying, "Ah, uh, something happened. I don't know." <laughs> Constrict you. Yep. Constrict and confusion. That was really annoying, because I couldn't get a Crobat until post-game. And even then you have to get the, uh, the Pokedex in, um, in that game too, otherwise it can, still can't evolve. I 
wish you could just get like Crobat and stuff like that in Generation 3. Of course, that just makes sense, you know. I still really like that Mighty Anna Sprite. It's going to be sad when I have to replace it for something else. Wait, what's the point of this good tree down there? If you can just move over it. That's stupid. So I wonder if the items in the uh, trick house are also randomized or not. I mean, I assume so, but... What do you originally get here anyway? I think it was a wear candy or some mail? Let's see what we have. Repeat ball. Okay, that's definitely, uh... It's canon that Kanto trainers don't love their Zubats. Yeah. I don't know, I really like Crobat, personally. I wanted to say something else there, but I forgot. Um... I don't know anymore. Dokio. Oh, I remember what I wanted to say. It was in Generation 5, where you got Woobat and, um... Rock and Roller? I was really missing the Zubat though. Same in gen uh, same in short sw sword and shield. I'm like this caves and there is no Zubat. It's like ah, oh, it just feels wrong. Were you told I was going to switch out? I don't think so. You can predict me. It's not how this works. Are we ever going to see a day that oh? Ooh. Well, here's Metagross. Oh dear, that's a giant hammer. If I can find a uh, Beldum, a Mitang, or Metagross early in the game, I will take it in my team. I really like Metagross. And the sprite is pretty cool too. Look at that giant hammer. Hello there, Oxy. I was going to say you're, you're done early, but it's already, uh, nine. Split stream. What do you mean, split stream? Tree catch rate, though. Yeah, I know. Bellum is really annoying to catch in the, the rest of the family. But I will try it if I see one. That's the person that taught me the word. Damn it. So it brings you here, Oxy. Sand attack. Uh, no, we don't want sand attack. What else do you have? Why on? Oh, that's perfect. Oh, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. I mean, I already have curb here anyway, so I <laughs> don't think that's going to matter much. So how did your game go? How far did you get, rather? The problem is from a few days ago and the boss who hacked your account and streamed, she immediately claimed to be you and it's bad interview between the merchant against you. She was playing Sonic Generations in case you were wondering. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was me though, but hey. Find a squall. Okay, so now we need to beat one more trainer and get out of here. Uh, let's put you in front because you are lowest at this point. I have no idea why someone would want to um, hack my account though. Oh, that's good, Oxy. Like I said, I remember seeing it like three or four years ago, but I don't really remember that much of it. Maybe it was you. Oh dear, why would you send this out when I send out my melodic? That's not fair. Um. Also, Oxy, you should see the Mighty Anna. You will definitely like how she looks. I'll show you. I, I'll show her to you in a bit. But I'm pretty sure you're going to like that sprite because of uh, floofy reasons. Definitely floofy reasons. Magmar. 
Oh, well, you have seen Magmar before. Magmar looks really nice. I still like the entrance. The Hydra is also really nice. Did someone say Floof? Yes, I said Floof. Hello there, Floof. Hello there, Mayui. Why didn't you heal earlier? I don't remember. And Water Pearls. Uh, might as well, because Water Sport is useless. What is it then? I'm rather curious. Well, you can also see it if I use Cut, but I don't think it shows fast enough. But yes, yeah, the Mighty Anna. She looks like this. I'll take a drink and I'll let you watch. So yeah, that's um, that's something. I like it. Then <laughs> <laughs> supposed to wake up in over nine hours and I just woke up. <laughs> Welp. <laughs> Let me guess, Oxy, you like it? I really like that sprite. It's done well. <laughs> um. <laughs> I think that reaction says enough. And welcome then, Mayu. <laughs> oh dear, Oxy. Hmm. I should get another loot emote. I approve. I mean, yeah, the Mighty Anna definitely looks good. Like an embarrassed loot emote. Uh, I think the Mighty Anna is one of my favorite sprites so far. It just looks really nice. <laughs> and I'm not going to be embarrassed in saying that. Okay, how does my team look? Uh, I should be fine. Yeah, we should get a tunnel loot emote as well. So both of you can be, uh, pervy. And that's another shroomish. Okay, Coxy. See you, uh, see you tomorrow. And sleep well. And thanks for dropping by. Bye-bye. Okay, so I'm going to put the Makahita up in front, because, well, she only needs two levels to evolve, apparently. And XP share. Hmm. I don't really think I need it, but sure. Like I said, the uh, Demakahito will evolve in two levels, and then I will replace it with the Shroomish because Berloom has a also fighting type, but also has a grass type, which is going to be more profitable, or more usable, if you will. Didn't the Remorate look different on uh, Emerald, uh, on Platinum? Don't remember seeing this on uh, Dylan's stream. It's barely a ninjas. Oh. Um, burn the thing. At least it's not so danger. That could be interesting. Oh, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. It's a flying ninja. Well, I mean, pretty much like the name implies anyway, so... It's the gun Pokemon. Yep. And artillery was a tank sometime. That artillery looks so weird. Oh my, it, 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 it restored 4 HP for once. That's new. Being cool isn't enough to win. <laughs> Sorry, Cat. No, it's not. It's not. I'm pretty sure you got the uh, item finder here as well. And that's Numel again. Numel in an Onzi. I, mean, I guess it makes sense. Okay, so let's see what you have. For speedrunners, this is the worst fighting game, so let's see what we're dealing with. Oh dear. Off to a good start. That hair reminds me of Lavi from, from Fairy Tale. 
is only level 18 at least, so like, it barely does any damage. I know Armtrust is way weak base power, but... Oh. Oh! That looks different than in Platinum. Looks nice, though. But how am I going to deal with that? It's a dragon type. I don't really have anything against dragon. Um, I guess I can just use confusion or something. I really like the Dario sprite. Electro cure back. Oh, you have astonish. Oh, that's not good, though. That's not good at all. Um. Oxy didn't even see this sprite. Can someone uh, clip or uh, copy this part and show this to Oxy? I'm sure she also knows how this looks. Also, Sing, that's annoying. Did you predict my switch in? Oh, I have something for this. Blue flute is a pretty good item to find, really. Oh, why did you have to miss? didn't do as much as I hoped it would do. Well, at least it's not stuck trying to use sing on me, so that's something. Can we finish it with a bite? Yes, we can. Nice. So are you sending out a seed draw again, or are you sending out a far-fetched? Okay. It's an interesting team you have, not too dangerous, but... Ah, oh, Farfetch looks alright. Expected more of a day. She's going to hit me with that stick. She's definitely going to hit me with that stick. <laughs> yes. That's what my melodic is named. And you claim not to be lewd. Um... In my defense, the chat wanted me to name my Lodic Ara Ara, so it's their fault, not mine. I'm innocent here. I swear, completely innocent. Uh-huh, yes, I swear. You can go back to part one and you can see you can watch that if you don't believe me. Oh, smoke screen. Well, Vital Throne never misses anyway, so... It should take you down, I guess. Yeah, it does. And are you going to level up? Well, the yokai didn't come up with anything else. The streamer is never innocent. Hmm, you're pretty cute. You've trained without me noticing. Good enough, take this. Item finder. That is an item founder. Yeah, I know. I know how it works too. Sadly, it's not a great item finder in this generation, but I do remember some item locations around here. See that again. Our mailing should be almost evolving anyway, at 24. So maybe you can see the evolution tonight after all. It's just that the Broloom is going to take a while then. Oh, good thing. That is barely any experience. A, a what? A normal berry? So, what is a normal berry? I don't remember these. Quite sour. Just one bite makes it impossible to trace for three days. I don't remember that one. Screamer is never innocent. Jeez. But how are you doing tonight, Mayui? I hope you're doing fine. Prolum is going to take a while if you instead of a digit spore. 
No, oh, right, that's also a thing. Oh. Do I really want to let. Do I really want to teach that spore though? That's like. Chrome is level 54 or something. That's way far off. I don't think I'm going to do that. If I were to be going for the Battle Frontier in this same in the same in the same final, I would have done that, but I think I'll just stick with Stun Spar. St yeah, Stun Spar was the name. I think I just stick to that. Oxy is going to need to be bapped. What do you mean? I know 100% sleep is insane, but it's such a pain to get to level 50 plus. Oh, it's Porygon. Look at the little cap. That's quite interesting. I'm not going to use Porygon though. If Porygon Z were if Porygon Z were in the game, I might. Because Porygon Z is great, but Porygon 2, not so much. Why does Oxy need to be Bapto? Why do you say that? What did I miss? Is she doing some things on the... on Discord without me noticing? That sneaky fox. I got ads. I could add sounds but not add images. That's weird. It's on my Discord. Oh god, what is she doing? Let's see. What is she doing? God damn it, Oxy. God damn it, Oxy. Also, Lunaton is faster than me. Excuse me. Excuse me. So, Gen 4 is the only game where I can encounter wild Porygons. Um. I honestly don't remember where you got Porygon in Generation 4. Um, that's a very good question to be honest. I don't remember it at all. I only remember having a Porygon Z and that's about it, but I don't remember how I got it. I think I just uh, traded over my Porygon 2 and evolved it with a friend of mine. Or my nephew. But I don't remember how I got it in game though. Mention if the guy lies about it in his garden. And thank you for the gift to uh, Space Elf in there, right? Kecklian and Bayonet. I was playing Mystery Dungeon last night, and I encountered wild Bayonets, and they were quite annoying. Because they would take down the walls to Danias, and they would mega evolve after taking them down. So they were quite a pain to deal with. Pidgeotto again. <laughs> I haven't played PMD in a long time. And thanks Ali Nash for the gift. Just a simple creature. You haven't played Switch in a long time. I mean, that's fair. I've gotten, I finally got on uh, Animal Crossing last night, because I got interested in it. I'm having fun with that, I guess. I still need to finish Mystery Dungeon, though. Ooh, stable line. Oh, that's kind of cute. I just noticed, is this supposed to be Pokemon, but it's not Toho? Is this a Pokemon wife from what? Yes, it's it's Moemon. It's pretty much exactly that. It makes all the, all the, all the Pokemon cute girls. And yeah, that's fair with your shoulder. I should have probably put it in the thumbnail, uh, in the title that it is Moemon. AKA Pokemon with cute girls. Uh, thanking people for subs is just polite, Alinash. Just accept it. 
What is your uh, what Pokemon did you get to start with? And who did you take as your partner? Nope. It's just another animal. Okay, animal is about to evolve uh, evolve here, so let's just beat up some wild stuff so we get that. Green butt. Yes, green butt. And another warren berry. Why do the wild Pokemon have warren berries on them? That's just annoying. <laughs> Nimble quench. I did finally get an Electivire in the Mystery Dungeon last night. However, um... Oh, that's another. Oh, that's kinda cute. I could have thought that I'd pick Sanaquil as my friend. Okay. I got a door chick and I took Totodal as my partner. I guess Totodal kind of fits the uh, the personality the character uh, the partner character has anyway. So it's cute now, though. Yeah, she's pretty cute. Also, she has a kimono, so I'm kind of kind of biased towards that. Come on, finish her off. Cute. I got my job, but I took Torchic anyway. <laughs> now that's what we call cheating. Okay, how is Ariyama going to look? I'm curious, how is this going to look? Come on, show me. Alright, I guess. Not necessarily what I expected, but it looks fine. Not super amazing, though. Also, those hands kind of look weird, because it's just three fingers, so... Eh. It's a nice attack stat, though. But yeah, we're going to be replacing her for uh, the Shroomish slash Broloom anyway. I just wanted to see what she would look like. Yowie yeah, hands. <laughs> oh god. And that was not a double battle, because Emerald loves its double battles. And the next thing that can evolve is uh, Crobat, Gardevoir, and, and Blaziken, which I'll take a while. Yeah, Gardevoir probably being the first thing, and we already know how it looks as well. So not much suspense in the evolution department for a while. Unless Quobat just randomly evolves at some point. Uh, Golbat, I should say. Or Quobat. She'll become a Quobat, though. Oh, there, there is Florentino. There is Florentino. Venusaur? Excuse me. And Rapidash. Level 15 Venusaur. That's 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 cheating. That's definitely cheating. I know. I want to use the cut. That looks dangerous for some reason. What do you mean? The Venusaur or the Rapidash? Rapidash is quite alright. The Venusaur has an interesting uh, boop window on their shirt, though. And thank you again for the other gifts, uh, Valley Nash. Have you done the flying button Pokemon glitch in Hearthstone? What is that glitch? I have never heard of that before. Or maybe I've seen it, but I don't know it by that name. But I just think I don't know it in general. Oh my, that's pretty good. Um, let's get rid of Growl because that's useless. Teleport has his uses, but it's kind of niche. But well, goodbye, Florentino. Failed to prophesize my own demise. 
And we have a blueberry. What are all these weird berries? Jeez. Pokeblock ingredient. Looks glossy and looks delicious, but it's awfully sour. It takes a long time to grow. It's weird to say inside got added, but I can't see a thing. That's weird, because I can I can see it. Ooh, an emulet coin. That's a pretty decent find. That's a pretty decent find, but who do I give it to? Who do we give this to? What were you hauling? Twisted spoon, right. Um you're hauling that I'm gonna give it going to give it to Scarlet, because Shell Bell isn't really doing all that much. Oh, he's just trying to ignore me with what I said. Oh, I see. That's rude. Don't ignore. If you spam the menu button when you jump a ledge, if you time it correctly, you can... Each additional time you press it, your Pokemon slowly float higher. I've never heard of that one before. But why though? Why would you do that? It seems kind of pointless. Isn't that just going to crash your game at some point? Okay, you just make your Pokemon disappear if it goes up high enough. Okay, now I can get um, I can probably give Rock Smash just to um. No, I don't care about television. I don't care about television, do you? Do you have Rock Smash? Oh wait, I think I had to give you something. Be able to buy Harbor Mail at the Pokemon Mart in Slateport. I guess I need to go back there then at some point. Once you start moving its position reset, so it's fine. Okay. Rock Smash guy, okay. I'm probably just going to give that to uh, Shroomish. It becomes a step move later down the line. Still pretty weak, but hey. I mean, I'm probably going to need it anyway. Might also need fl a black flute. What did the black flute do again? Red flute was an infuriation. A glass flute that keeps wild Pokemon away. So it's some sort of usable rappel? Hmm. First, let's heal and let's get the shroomish out. That leads me to me, but I don't often pet mine, perhaps I deserve it. Oh, uh, I see. Oh, you are holding a potion. Oh, sure. Thanks for the gift. And goodbye, Mei Ling. I guess this playthrough I also won't be using an Harry Hammer. Do give me that potion, though, I want that. We are going in front, and we're going to heal up. Also, that guy in the corner here was one weird person, and was different in Ruby and Sapphire too, I believe. I'm not sure what this deal was anymore. Didn't he sing a song or something? I'm giddy, I have a scintillating story for you, would you like to hear my story? So now it's so exciting, don't you agree? Yes, also I was thinking, radio is so darling, no. No. Okay, sure. It just lowers encounter rate. Okay. Hello there, Wally. I want to challenge this gym and see how much I've better I've gotten. Nope. It's not going to happen. So does he still have his walls or is he, or is he going to have something else here? I wonder. What do you have? Let's see. What do we have? Trainer Zoe. Shroomish. Well, that's not a waltz. That's a shroom. What moves do we have anyway? Absorb deck, lead sheet, sunspore. I think he's got an annoyance. Ah, just wing attack this thing. Send in the bat. <laughs> it's simple. We send in the bat man. It's not really Batman, but one shot. Did 
There we go, I shattered your dreams in one move. How does that feel, Wally? Okay. Had to take a drink there. So do we bother getting the coin case or... Furtendorf, yeah, sure. You would teach Wall- oh. You again? You're friends with that boy Wally, but you didn't hold back anything and beat him impressively. That's what a wheel bell is all about. Oh, so you like me beating down? You like me beating up little boys, do you? I'll be cheering for you. Jeez. That's kinda rude in context. I think I can get the bike here. Um, I'm going to get the Mark bike because I'm going to need that in the desert anyway. Then again, I'm going to need the Acro bike for a uh, Jacket Pass. But this, um, no, I get Jacket Pass earlier because I can't go in there. But ah, uh, whatever. Let's get Mac anyway, so we can go fast. You beat your friend up. Good job, young lady. I'm cheering for you. Yeah, pretty much. I don't know what it sounds like. Speedy bike. Very speedy bike. I'm fast now. But with that we can enter the cycling road. Which has more trainers to beat up. I don't remember if the uh, NPC gave you something for getting that... Um, Board mail though. I like the bike that allows you to bunny hop. Yeah, that's the uh, the aqua bike. I mean, I kind of like the idea of it, but I think the mag bike gets used more in actual game progression. No, only at spear pillar, I think. Um, sky pillar, not spear pillar. That's a uh, generation later. Then again, if you have to get Rayquaza, I remember there not being any pitfalls anyway for the story. So there is that. The pitfalls only appear after you have uh, already done story event. Raiden? Oh wait, it's Raiden. It's not Raihorn. How does Raiden look? Oh dear. She now has a spare with a drill on the end. Plus that outfit. Oh dear. Why did I send out Nibble? Yeah, well, still wing this thing. Acrobat lets you go up on ledges. Yeah. Here's the drill of the little piece of heavens. <laughs> I suppose. I never really liked Rotharia, it just the armor just looks kinda weird. I don't know. I never liked it much. Victory Bell, jeez. So what was this again about um similar strength? Beanie looks so cute she's wearing Oh oh dear. Oh my Victory Bell. Oh my. It also has razor leaf at this level. Oh dear. Victory Bell is a proper lady, though. I think the most impressive thing he actually has in a normal game is Carvana. Or Wilmer. So it's definitely an upgrade. Use confusion, please. There we go. How much more do you have? I think you had four, right? Harry Emma. All of his Pokemon are evolved. Jeez. Yeah, similar strength is not really similar strength now. Now I know you have guts, so using Stun Spore might be a problem. I'm going to see if I can take that down on my own. Oh well, without switching out rather. 
Stuns more. Oh, it missed. Crap. Come on. Faster. Oh, vital throw. Mmm, that did a lot. That did a lot. Game Freak didn't really expect to play as a wee immediate backdrop for Quasal after you solved the incident. It's level 17, collateral sweep. <laughs> yeah, that's also true. That is also true. I mean, you could have lowered the level. I mean, in Ruby and Sapphire, you also get a level 45 Kyogre Grounder. So, it doesn't necessarily matter that much if they would have lowered it, but I guess they didn't want to do that for some reason. <laughs> for the record, I did not bet you. Well, good night, Gurb, and see you next time. Sleep well. Level 14. Also, I didn't check her nature. I should do that. So, also, where did Red go? Did he pull asleep or something? I haven't seen him in a while. Brave nature. That's plus attack and minus speed, I believe. Uh, I'm going to be quite slow then. That's kind of sad. At least it's plus attack. I suppose that's kind of good in one way. I just hope the speed, uh, speed decrease isn't that bad. How did you sneak in here with a uh, without a bike anyway, girl? You're being illegal here. Oh no, why? Oh, she's cute. <laughs> she's adorable. But yeah, pretty much what I expected Marwell to look at. I mean, Marwell is pretty much a cute girl with with with, with a marble on her head, so it's not really super creative, I guess. But it's still really cute. I do this with pain in my heart, though. <laughs> Now we know how my Mawai looks. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. I like it. Are you right? I could check the Pokedex entry on where I can find her. It's not like I would use a Mawai. I mean, Mawai in Generation 3 isn't very good. But then again, I could just do it because, well, it's Mawai, but we'll see. What does the Pokedex say? Where can I find her? Find her? Oh, so we're gonna find Marshtomp. In Victory Road. Dunn's boss is better. Now listen here! Mm. It's around here somewhere. At least I thought so. Ah, there she is. Also, all the way in Victory Road, so yeah, it's, it's not it's not worth getting her. It's like way way too late in the go in the game. It's kind of a shame, but hey. Why is Sableye so much more common than Mar than Marwell is? That's not fair. But you know why Marwell is in Victory Road because she's the best. Period. And that's why, just, why, just, why she deserves to be in Victory Road. We haven't seen Dunsparce yet in this game either. I wonder how Dunsparce looks. But like, she also has a drill thingy. Oh, it's better free again. I'm going to level up again as well. That's nice. Um, just burn a better free. Poison power. Hmm. That's not very nice of you. Those thighs. She definitely has some Zadai Ryoki going on there. 
with a small gap between her thigh highs and her uh, skirt. Which is definitely a cultured thing. Uh, Scarlet is also going to level up Mission Chain. Yep, there we go. Nice. <laughs> Very lewd of you to point it out. I like you. How much do we match? Nah, I don't care really. I'll just wait here for you to come back and I'll take a drink. Can I keep up with your speed? Well, if I just Thunder Run wait, I don't really have to do that, do I? Oh, gear. He also has my Lotic. Luckily for me, my Lotic doesn't really have much dangerous moves for me to deal with. Oh, this is going to take a while though, because that didn't really do much. Then again, my Lotic is quite tanky at lower levels, I'm. Oh. Lower levels, I imagine, because, well, she has a lot of HP and a lot of. Uh, uh, a lot of special defense, that's, that's, that's the word. Let's throw a stun spore on for good measure. And let's just absorb everything. I can I cannot die to her anyway. So there should be a good chunk of experience for um the shroomish here. Also if anyone could point me out when uh, Dylan is going online it would be uh, appreciated because I expect him to go online in like fifteen minutes or so. So we can switch over to him and raid. My Nordic is a special thing against physical defense when afflicted. Yeah. I mean, I guess it kind of balances it out. I recover more with, with Leech Life than I do from Absorb. It's kind of weird. Yeah, I will raid him if he goes online, like I always tend to do. If he streams after me, that is. Usually not the case on Sundays, but. Yeah, usually you rat would do that, but uh, rat hasn't been very silent for the last few minutes, so I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe he just fell asleep or something. Wouldn't be surprised. Me the first time. Mega Drain. Well, Mega Drain is a strictly better absorb. Double the power. And what's the next thing you are going to send out? Oh, that's a lot of experience, alright. Gengar. Hmm. Um, Senko can buy that. So we'll send out you to deal with it. How does Gengar look? Oh, dear, that Gengar. It's definitely a bit of a punk, isn't she? Totally not an axe maniac, though. Completely the other way. Also, a good chunk of experience. That's probably one good thing about getting such strong Pokemon in the early game. They give a lot of experience. So it will help me level up faster. Yes, teleport me back, please. Because someone is poisoned and I don't deal with that. Baton Pass's ingrain is, is broken when used to set up into my Lodic. Oh dear, I did. I didn't think of that. Oh, that's, that's painful. Additionally, you could also give the uh, give the Milotic Aqua Ring, so <laughs> she will restore even more. Oh wait, does does Milotic even learn Aqua Ring? Don't think about it. I don't think so, right? Oh, shut up, Wally! You freaking stalker! I never really used any baton pass shenanigans personally. Oh, you meant that, okay. Yeah, that's quite a lot of H AP regen. It's kinda insane when you think about it. 
I'll never forget the day that I made someone in the Mewtwo rage quit because I kept stalling him out with my melodic. That's freaking hilarious. Phoebus. I remember you. From Dylan's stream. Phoebus is cute though. Definitely not an ugly Pokemon as the Pokedex should say she is. Or at least the normal Phoebus is considered one of the most ugly Pokemon, but I mean, she looks so cute here. I mean, they, ma they managed to make even Luke Muck look sexy in this game, so I can't complain. My Lothic also learns to cover, yep. That's what I did with the guy with Mewtwo. I threw a Toxic on his Mewtwo and I just kept spamming Recover. And he kept using such powerful moves as Psycho Cut and whatever the hell. But he couldn't take down my Melodic, so he just, after 5 turns, he was like, I'm gonna Rage Quit. Which was quite funny. Probably some sort of kid, like, look at my super awesome Mewtwo, I'm going to kick your ass. Yeah, like how you are, kid. Come on, come here. I mean, I, I hate when I'm getting stalled, but still, it's just kind of funny to stall someone out of the Mewtwo. Just because it was a Mewtwo, you know. And it's a Zoomeril again. It's just a girl in a bunny suit now I look at it. Nothing wrong with that, I guess, but still. And that barely did anything. No, you didn't miss a Mewtwo. It was me back in uh, Pokemon X and I. In online battles, I was stalling out a Mewtwo with my Milotic. Which was funny. Using Solomon Sweeper is hilarious when it works. Yeah, it's, it's just given a conte context because it was Mewtwo. Like, oh my god, my Mewtwo is so awesome. Yeah, here, have my Milotic. You can do anything. And he rage quits. Which is great. I haven't really bothered much with the online on Sword and Shield though. <laughs> Would have been sad. No, the legendary Pokemon are disabled. Trainers can't have random legendary, so don't worry about that. I mean, it's kind of sad, so we won't see the, the designs of them, but. I also don't want to deal with that stuff, like Frogged 1 uh, Kyogres. Which would be kind of stupid. You can't even catch them because of the catch rate. Cordilly. Um. How do we want to deal with the Cordilly? I guess. Double kick? Hmm. Cordilly is really annoying to deal with. Oh dear. Um, there's something wrong with your umbrella. There seem to be tentacles coming from it. Oh, it's only level 6. Oh. <laughs> oh that's what you were doing, Rad. I was already wondering why you were so absent. Oh, it's Furret! Oh, look at the Furret girl. I really like Furret. Furret is cute. It's so comfy and floofy. I'm gonna give it a hug. Much better than Rattata and other Route 1 stuff. I mean, I guess Linoon is fine, but... Furred is definitely the best. In case you're not used to bike racing. I don't care, I just want to beat you up for money. That's what I'm gonna do. And it's Ghastly again. Why are all these Pokemon so low, though? I guess they're using low-level Voltorbs or something. I don't remember. Hmm. That didn't really do anything. I mean, I do have similar strength on for trainers as well, but it doesn't 100% seem to work, because I keep getting trainers with much more stronger Pokemon than I have. Okay, I see. It's kind of kicked everyone's ass. At least you aren't kicking my ass for once. I 
I expect Dylan to be online in like 10 minutes anyway, so... Ursa Wing. And double kick the Ursa Wing. But yeah, I don't think we're going to be seeing the gym today. Maybe some of the route between uh, Marvel and uh, Ferdinand, but that's going to be it mostly. And they won't beat you anytime though. They're just too good in fighting games. Marowak. We can train that. And that's the last one too. I think there's one more trainer left here. It's that way, so if a trainer has a Pokemon that low stat, to the level low stat more. Okay. Also, damn that Marowak. Yes, but you lose at Mario Kart. I'm just that good at Mario Kart. Ow. It didn't do as much as I would have hoped it would have done. That did too much. At least I didn't flinch. <laughs> yeah, you didn't. I think your best spot you got was like 6 or 7 plays. And then after that it was only worse. Oh well, you can be good at everything. Now can you? Besides, I'm pretty confident in my Mario Kart skills. I manage to place uh, first place online very often against just Asian people and stuff like that. I mean, I would assume uh, Japanese, uh, Japanese players would be better at racing than you would think, but I guess not. Or maybe just Mario Kart in specific they are bad at. I don't know. And yes, next time we need to stream Mario Party. It's going to be one salt fest, isn't it? Yeah, maybe she's level 18. If this, if this keeps going, you can already see it evolve too. I don't think it evolved at level 24 as well, so maybe not. It's like still 6 levels to go and I have like... Probably 5 levels, le uh, five minutes left to stream. I don't give a damn about your record. Yes, yes, I will get a microphone by that time. Assuming you're not here next week, that is. Okay, why did I buy that stupid mail again? I think it was here. I have no idea if this is going to give me anything. Because I can't remember. Yes, I did the same. I was like going as fast as I could there uh, without uh, any collisions. Not like you ever got anything for it, but hey. I got this back. I want to sell that. Maybe I should keep on to one dragon scale. And just because I can see how Kingdra looks. What does this thing sell for anything? 50, jeez. That's not worth it. And I should be able to just teleport back to Marville. Because I haven't healed here. Yep, there we go. You got bragging rights. Yeah, basically. I didn't have internet often back then. Yeah, I thought you would get something, but nope. No bueno. Oh yes, you did give me something. A coin case, okay. Alright case, I can go gamble. I forgot that was the way you got the coin case here. Oh, more double battles, jeez. Um, Ara has not seen much action today, so... Also, this cave uh, just north here, you can also get a. Um, Who's on spinny thing? <laughs> you can also uh, find Quadrant. I think it was Quadrant you could find here. Uh oh, Stinky's back. Does that mean you are back or is uh, Dylan going online? Yeah, Mega Drain the Whooper and. Squirt some water on the Onyx. Oh, you are back. Okay. Well, welcome back, Akane. Probably just catching my tail the tail end of my stream, though. Because I'll they'll be switching to Dylan when he goes online. Oh dear, it's Nido King. 
That's one manly needle gang. And he has a sword. Why does he have a sword? Is it in fire? Yes, it was only in fire, red and leaf green. And red and blue, respectively. I'm just attacking the Silicon. Water pills and Needle King. Good thing has to go. <laughs> Punch me, Needle King Daddy. Our arrow leveled up. And what is your last thing? Tell them. Hmm. Held him just as a giant hammer. Which is kind of funny. Alright, Red, that also means you haven't seen the Metagross. One of the trainers randomly had a Metagross on their team. Why <laughs> are you like this economy will hurt you? Alright. Many man dead. I know, right, man? Useless. And the last thing you sent out is a... Rhyhorn again. Yeah, that doesn't do much, but that doesn't really matter. I need to heal because you're out of Mega 20 years. Only Dylan, not even Christian. Hmm. Strongman in Wellington. Stinky, you know who I mean. But yes, in this little rock formation up here, you could find a, uh, a cave in post game for Crowden on Kyogre. Uh, oh, yes, Rat, we have also seen Mawile. Look at the little cute thing. Problem is. She's only in a uh, victory road. She's that good, you know. But the Metacross is down here. That's the Metacross. Just as a huge ass hammer. I don't know. If we can find one, I will take one on my team because I like that. But yeah, sadly, we won't be getting a Marwal on my team because it's in victory road. Which is. <laughs> Pretty sad, but I uh, so be it. And at the point, it's also not worth getting Mawile because she's not that strong late game. Now you take that back, Akane. If you don't take that back, I will be calling you stinky for the rest of your life. Then again, you won't probably even like that. No, she says another soft sand. I don't really need another soft sand, you know. For fishermen, the equipment is the key. For trainers, the key ingredient, the Pokemon and heart. But being insulted is by King, yes, I know that. And it's Cubo. Also, is Rat not online yet? Um, Dylan, I mean. Should be going online any moment now, I think. Actually, let's get my trainer open in the background. No, nothing yet. <laughs> Cotton is a set, really? Oh, yes, in that way. Yeah, definitely. Oh, that seems a bit excessive, Akane. Just a little bit. Well, I mean, each to their own. I want King Shame. And everyone praise Helix, because Helix is here. I'm gonna like this cute, though. I'm using it as a little hat. Well, I got more experience on this shroomish than I went imagining. Or that I ma imagined at the beginning. That's too bad. 
I'll see you, Zubat, and I wage you with a... No, where is she? No, I just know that Lily appears. You need the experience anyway. Zubat. Zubat looks so scared, it's precious. Poor little thing. I really wonder what Crobat looks at. I'm still expecting something ninja-like for Crowbat for some reason. Now oh, you also want my phone number? Jeez. Are the numbers actually also added in Match Call? Who? Oh, it's Roxanne. Fucking with Lawrence. Okay, so the names are also, um, added in here. I see. That's interesting to know. All these guys asking for your phone number. Yeah. Well, it's me. It's, it's good to battle them, I guess, for experience, but that's about it. Repair berries. I always seem to miss it in the middle one for some reason. Just a typical day. Oh, why does my back hurt so much? It's really annoying. And it's not because I'm sitting a, mo a lot lately, because I'm always sitting a lot, so I don't know. Oh, it does those paws. Eh. Eh, yeah, she's not that cute. And you got yawn, because of course you do. Why is that called reliable one? Doesn't his wife have divorced or neglect? <laughs> yeah, seems about right. He cares more for his Pokemon than he does for her. Sure, first you use yawn and then you use glare. This boss can't do anything right. Her legs just stop, no feet. Ah, uh, now that you say so, those legs look really cursed. Ah, oh, poor kitty. Just the, the, the kitty just needs some hugs. Maybe your maybe your uh, grandmother is just not giving the kitty enough attention, you know. At least we are both paralyzed now. Speaking of y'all, it's making me sleepy. Come on. Friend Spaz is annoying. Get extra in this hormonal disorder that needs to make Bazzard. Oh. I mean, that's not fun for the cat either, you know. There's actually something wrong with it. Yeah, it's still sad. That means even more that the cat doesn't mean it, you know. That's my cat, anyway. No, she's fu she's a she found a new, new spot to sleep. She's just sleeping on the middle of the fucking sofa for no reason. What will Shuckle look like? Well, time will tell. I imagine Dylan will find Shuckle earlier than I do, though. Because, well, it's Dylan. And he loves that Pokemon. I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center and... Yeah, okay. No, 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 wrong Pokemon. <laughs> I have rabbis. Every time a shuckle appears on Dylan's streams, I just start laughing because he just hates it so much. And it's great to see him suffer with, Dil with Chuckle. Is he still not going online, by the way? I mean, it's... It's already seven minutes late. Oh, I can't stop yawning. Mm. After this stream is on, I think I get that, um... That bag with your cherry pits, I'm just going to put it on my back or something after it's heating up. 
because I can probably use that. Oh. You could also use a good massage now, but oh, oh, it's Jinx. Well, whoever said you wanted to see Jinx? Well, here we go. We're going to see Jinx. I still can't believe how cute my Diana is. Ah, Jinx is kind of cute, I guess. It's a typical Gyaru girl, but I mean that makes sense because it was. Jinx was based on Gyaru girl, so I guess this is just a logical conclusion that she looks like that. Dragonite. Oh. Oh oh oh. That thing is going to have a dragon rage, isn't she? Not like Senko Scholar, yeah. Oh god, this is going to hurt. Mm. You swing attack. Good. Yes, it's a nice similar strength, isn't it? It's very similar in strength, definitely. Okay. That wasn't too bad to deal with. Bayleaf. Now you can stay out and you can wing attack that. Eh, that's kinda cute, I guess. Nothing amazing. Can we lock Dylan in the room with a chocolate and dunce pass only let them out when he puts aside his difference and befriends them? So never, he's going to die first. Metabot. Oh, we've seen you before. Sleepy girl. I mean, I could just use normal wing attack, but hey. It doesn't really matter much. Paris, a lot of experience for Nibble here. Oh, right, she looked like that. We've also seen her in Platinum before. Yeah, similar strength my ass, like Paris, fucking Dragonite. Artisan Mike. Nice artisan you are. Uh, I think this looks fine. Let's see what these do have. Shuggle should have gotten a mega evolution. Could you imagine? Nuzzleaf and Wooper. Oh, Nuzzleaf looks different there. Also, that's quite an unfortunate, unfortunate type matchup, isn't it? Hmm. Well, the Wooper should go down in probably one hit because how weak it is defensive-wise against this. Then again, yeah. <laughs> yeah, goes open again. Wooper is cute though. Actual Wooper is also cute, so I, I mean, I guess it checks out. Let's see how much this does against you. More than expected. Even better than expected. That's kind of as expected. Barely did any damage though. Shroom is definitely leveled up faster than I imagined it would though. Isn't a really Mac and Anna, Anna too? Senior and Junior Emma MA. Hmm, well, that explains the names. What can we find in the grass here anyway? We haven't seen that yet. It's Nagans. And we're being outsped because Shroomer is just slow as hell. What else can we find here? Also, I should probably check where we can find Beldum and Metacross. Oh, it's a Metcap! Oh, She's cute. Let's see if we can catch one. Oh dear, click my head. Let's use another tackle though, because this is way too much HP for a mudkip to catch. So what are you guys' favorite genera generation 3 starters? I 
think my favorite is actually Mudcap. <laughs> I just like Mudcaps. I actually do. I don't know, I like all three of them equally, but I think Mudcap is my more favorite because I kind of feel Blaziken is getting all the attention and spotlight. And Ash also had a, uh, a Trico in the anime. So I have a bit more of a soft spot for uh, Mudcap. Okay, so I only have two balls for it for this. Let's try Pokeball. Yeah, I expected this outcome. <laughs> balls. Oh my god, oh my god, eh? Well, let's try this. It's probably not going to have much more effect, but. Sorry, Mudcap, but I'm going to have to take you down. I'm sorry. You're really cute, though. If I can hit you to this, because Mudslap is a bitch. Don't you crawl at me. Are you giving me attitude? I like Mudcap and Trico, fuck Blaze again, the only good thing uh, is Scandalblade is Bolt and Colossi. <laughs> to be honest, the tuft of hair, the tuft of hair on Blaze Again's groin is quite questionable why it is there, to be honest. I have no idea why they did that and thought it was a good idea. Okay, so where can we find Beldum? Oh, we can find Beldum in the desert and in Mount Pyre. So I guess when we get there, we're going to get a Beldum. Where can I get Metagross though? That's the other question. We can't get Metagross. That's interesting actually. Hmm. Well, we aren't going to find Wild Metagross, but Wild Beldum are definitely a thing that are going to happen in probably the next stream. Speaking of streams, what is still Face doing? Is still a message that he went online. Hmm. He's late tonight, isn't he? Why are you naming the Beldum red? I don't know. The Beldum is anything but red. He's playing hentai games. <laughs> Probably. He's probably still sleeping. I guess. The problem is I want to get a drink. And I know that as soon as when I get a new drink, he will go online when I get back. So that will make it kind of pointless of me going be right back, you know? What else can we find here? And remember where you live, I will get my revenge. Oh no, I'm so scared. I'm absolutely shaking in my boots. <laughs> I see journal request in my Pokemon after him continues. Yep, it's called Hentai and it's art. In some cases, it actually is art. I've seen worse art in uh, museums than I've seen in Hentai, to be honest. And that's probably going to be haunting me for a while, that quote. I shouldn't have said that. I'm going back to get some extra Pokeballs, because you never know when you run into a shiny, you know? I'm not expecting it to happen, but I also don't want to be without Pokeballs when I actually run into a shiny too, you know? So yeah, what would be a good name be for a Bell um, Metang Metagross? Hmm... Maybe we should go with Bella because, well, it's Beldum, you know? That would work. Spaghetti was straight until it got better haunt you for longer. <laughs> you missed the exit to kill a kill though. That's not here, so I think you're in the wrong place. That looks cool though. I swipe. That looks really cool. Sadly you are like dead in one fire move, so can I pet it? You can try. 
I'm not sure if she would like it though. Oh, you also want my phone number, jeez. Also, for some reason, this trainer up here and this kid running around here got swapped around in uh, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald for no reason. I really want to get a drink, though. If Dylan goes online at this point, I'm going to yell at him. So, very quick, be right back to get a drink here. Concentrate on getting a win, that's how I battle. Well, maybe with some luck we can see uh, Breloom tonight after all. That's a funny I don't know, I would slap him for it. Beedrill and Silco. Beedrill's cool though. Also, she's not wearing panties this year. Probably a Leotard. I'll just use Water Cross on it. There's not some big stinger she has though. Jeez. <laughs> that beat real. Oh god. Well, we could buy beat real. Also, I didn't pay attention to how much Pokemon they had. I sweats nervously. <laughs> that beat real is something alright. Just be careful that she doesn't poke you with her big stinger. And there goes the Silco. What do you have? Maybe he likes being poked. Yeah, no, true, true. I'm not gang shaming him. Maybe he likes girls with stingers, and sure. Each to their own. It's definitely some kind of innuendo. At least that's what I'm making of it. It's so too late now. You can stop me. Talk chocolate. I'm more of a milk chocolate person. Might be tainted with the weed, oh dear. That was the top quote. <laughs> oh god. I don't know, I'm more of, like I said, I'm more of a milk per uh, chocolate person. I'll tell him this online. Yeah, there we go. Let's finish off this fight and let's go raid him then. Oh good. Your pie didn't go up because of paral par paralysis. Okay, so the thing for next stream, just probably clearing up this route. I don't think I need to level up. Actually, I'm going to take down one thing extra because maybe uh, it was 22 that Shroom is evolved at, I'm not sure. So let's quickly see that. See that for the C dot. Oh, that's a Pidgey. Male girl is back. If not, I can probably put everything on level 23 for next stream. It was on 23, okay, I see. I could level up the rest of the team to 23 then and leave uh, Shroom is like one battle away from uh, 23. So we can start the episode with that like we did with uh, Mighty Anna today. But yeah, level up and that's going to be it for today. But you can learn it instead of attacking. But yeah, he's alive, so I'm going to uh, round this off for tonight. And we are going to raid him, like we always do. 
So everyone watching on YouTube, I hope you have fun and I will see you next time. Take care.